as welcome to game five between Masuchi and Rancor. Upper left hand corner we have Masuchi starting as the blue Zerg. Bottom left hand corner we have Rancor starting as the red Zerg. Looks like Rancor is moving his Overlord into an advantageous position to get that early scout. Masuchi on the verge of winning the set. I should mention that. If he wins one more match, he will sweep the set. And so I think potentially dropping out of the previous match because it is possible he could fight and win it, but he's got more sets to work with, or he's got more games to work with in this set. And there's a lot more games potentially to play. And so perhaps even though he was able to sneak by, I think that was almost a statement pot potentially from Masuchi, which is even in this position of being very behind, I still might've been able to win this. So keep that in mind sort of stuff. Thus far in the matches though, Masuchi, I feel like, yeah, he's just starting to take control, starting to command. And I'm not sure if there was a pause at any point between any of this, or if it was just played literally all at once. Literally all at once, I could see it just being grueling. Much like the casting all at once on uh, very little sleep. <laughs> but it looks like Rancor has picked up his form again. He is once again hovering around his usual 333 APM. Set it down by the 150. He's opened up Overlord first. And look at this. We are seeing an seeing a 12 pool. Or 11 pool, something close to that. Same thing opposite map. So it's going to be even build orders. So the question is, is who executes better? And I think the overall advantage is going to go to Rancor because of the Overlord, but a little bit of delay from Rancor. Looks like he wants to go 12th pool into expansion rather than 12th pool into gas. So Zergling speed is going to be something on Mas in Masuchi's favor, potentially also early layer, depending on whether he, whichever he decides to utilize first. So this is gonna give an economic lead to Rancor overall. but a huge gas lead to Masuchi. So I'm curious if Rancor is going to play out of the Evolution Chamber style in response to this, or if he's gonna go for uh, potentially a Zergling Flood. Extractor being built. Waiting on that 100 gas to see whether Masuchi, it looks like he is opting for Zergling speed rather than Lair. The Zergling's starting to move out for Rancor. Timing just about even. Two more for Masuchi over Rancor. And it looks like it might have even just been one, a little bit of a delay of the drones in gas. And I'm wondering if that is an exhaustion play or if that is intentional play. The Zerglings making their way across for Masuchi to be aggressive, ending up, I think, with a disadvantage as far as concavity. No, I take it back. Nice micro from Masuchi. However, close reinforcement location is going to send him back home. A few additional Zerglings being placed there from Rancor. Natural expansion in place. Layer morphing. But the layer ever so slightly ahead for Masuchi overall. And having an early expansion really doesn't give you much unless you can really cap that additional gas. Rancor already dropping a creep colony. Rather than an evolution chamber, Masuchi with his Zerglings looking to end around. Some nice micro. The two Zerglings going to be able to speed in, potentially get some drone harassment down, done. Rancor not drone ruling, but defending very, very well. And the Overlord making its way into that natural expansion. More Zerglings have made it up, though. Some drones are trying to get to that natural expansion, however, getting picked off along the way, and that is two more drones down another drone getting picked off and Masuchi just about to even things up as far as drone count plus interrupting mining time and on top of that his lair is finished and the spire is on the way and it looks like this is going to be if all things play out per usual unless an evolution chamber gets dropped rather rapidly I think this is going to end up being another Masuchi win and another set to Masuchi overall which I think puts him, so he needs to win, I think, one more set, because what are we at? Or 3 1? No, never mind. That will be the closing set, right? No, we're 2 1. He's got to win one more. 
Spire is starting to drop right there. Masucci just kind of running the Zerglings around. Rancor with several Zerglings trying to chase after it. He's behind in drones overall. Spire is going to finish in not too long. And plus, Masucci even has some spare Zerglings at home in case there was a run by. And still able to get some harassment done. Masucci is really taking control now. Really taking control. Rancor supply blocked right this second. I think having a trouble in this match overall. I think he's, yeah, and you can see the APM dropping once again. This might be a fatigue play. Fatigue being something that happens in this matchup over so many games. The Zerg is still able to sneak across. The drone count just about even, though. In the interim, no evolution chamber being dropped. An Overlord down for Rancor, and the Mutalisks are shortly going to be headed towards his base. Spire's going to finish, potentially with some nice Scourge landing. Rancor has managed to sneak three drones. He might be able to sneak back into this. He's running forward with the Zerglings. A Sunken Colony is being built. He wants to try to distract these Mutalisks. Looks like the Mutalisks are already on top of the Overlord, so he recognizes that it's close location. Trying to grab his second gas rapidly to sneak ahead. Has actually droned rather heavily. Has built a slew of Scourge. Is hoping that will be the recipe to get him back into this. But another Overlord... I think that's two. Potentially going to get picked off. That's Rancourt now in the red. The Scourge sneaking. Oh, overhitting right there on one of them. A, dr a battle drone. You can't attack air drone. Get back home. A single mule running forward to engage. And there's GG. Set four goes to Masuchi. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to set five. And that will be that Rancor is on the edge of elimination. Hoping you can pull it out. Thanks for listening.